safe zones in northern Syria. This is what we have wanted. And right in the aftermath of the civil war in Syria, this is what we have communicated to the relevant parties, creating these safe zones. It is very important that people continue their lives in a safe zone uh, on the Syrian territory and to continue their lives within the framework of humanitarian uh, conditions and uh, the creation of those safe zones were also very important for uh, not to turn this into a political is uh, issue, but unfortunately we were not on the same page with the Obama administration and we couldn't uh, proceed on this matter, but we are insistent on this matter. And in terms of safe zones, uh, Turkey has still the same stance. And this is also very important in order to prevent the possible future waves of migration. And that is why this needs to be taken into account as soon as possible. And um, because of the uh, situation in Idlib, we have a high risk of being face to face with another wave of uh, migration. We have been accommodating more than 3 million Syrian refugees in Turkey. And Turkey has mobilized everything it has in order to accommodate these people and any number on top of these uh, this three million will go beyond the capacity of Turkey and a new wave of migration will also bring along an important burden on uh, European countries as well these are all critical issues and we have intensive agenda uh, actually we have uh, tackled more I emergent issues but and we did not have any time to talk about the safe zones with my counterpart we, we, we have still have the same stance and we want the creation of a safe zone in Syria because it's very important for the stability in the region and for the people of Syria